Anyway, so we made it out of Cadiz. Uh, we are here about to, uh, we parked on the Cadiz side to go to Gibraltar. Hi hey, Emma, she woke up from a nap. And we are at La, La Linea de la Concepcion. So we're just gonna park on this side and walk over to Gibraltar. But um, we had a fun time in Cadiz. It was a little too short, right? We had some great breakfast today. Did you like the breakfast? The churros? Yeah. Churros con chocolate? Okay. So we are ready to spend a day in Gibraltar. And we have a tour book, so um, not a very long day here, maybe half a day. But we're trying to make the best out of this trip and kind of lose this hiding over there. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye! Alright, so we parked the car uh, on the same side and we just walked over. It was fairly easy. You just line up and they stamp your passport uh, and that's pretty much it. It, it, took, it took less than five minutes. But if you are entering Gibraltar Delta by car, you would have to line, uh, line up and go through customs and everything. And the line was not even moving. It was huge. And we, here we are, crossing an open airfield. Hopefully no airplanes come, right, Vivian? If it comes, you run. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. So we're walking into town. Just follow the line with all the people going the same direction. that yesterday was overcast, so we got lucky.
Hotel St. Michael's Cave. It's a cool tunnel. Just finished the tour. Uh, we used Blends Travel. It was actually pretty cool. Uh, we got to um, go on a bus, and then the tour guide would explain the different sites that you're visiting. And then we went to uh, Europa Point, where you can see across um, uh, the the ocean. You can see Africa and Spain and the Strait of Gibraltar. And then we went to um, St. Michael's Cave, uh, the one that's very colorful. That was pretty cool. We went to uh, Apes Den, um, which it was a nice view, but usually the monkeys are there, but they were at uh, St. Michael's Cave and we saw them earlier. And at the end, we went to the World War II siege tunnels. That was kind of cool. We got lost a little bit. And then Emma got a little creeped out, thinking we were going to get lost in the tunnels, huh? Yeah, but we made it out. Obviously. So now we are here at the main square, just enjoying some ice cream and getting ready to have some lunch soon. So it's dessert before food today, yeah? Okay, did you like the tour? Yeah? You wanna go again? Yeah. Yeah? Did you enjoy the tour, Rubo? Yeah? Except for the part we got lost. Except getting lost in the tunnels, in the dark tunnels inside the rock? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're ending our day here in Gibraltar and we're walking back to the car. It's gonna be on the Spanish side. So here we are crossing the airport again. There's some planes back there. So it's an active airport. It's kind of like a train track if you see the signs and then li the lights flashing and don't cross. But anyways, that was a fun day. Um, we spent about six hours in Gibraltar. We had fun, um, a lot of history, um, a lot of things to do and see, but definitely a great idea for a day trip if you're in this area. Alright, did you have fun with it? Yeah. Yeah? Thumbs up? Alright.